I think we have a we have Congressman Rose connecting. So, and there he is. Hey, how are you? Thank you so much for joining us. This My is uh, Terry Lukowski. We were just setting the stage and saying how we were so grateful to have a champion with you who has introduced legislation that's really taking up the cause of the Plays Coalition and broadening for us to include working families. So please share with all of our listeners here uh, more about the work that you're doing and how they can get involved and help. Yeah, no, absolutely. Terry, thank you um, for affording me a few minutes to speak to you all. Um, and of course, thank you for all your leadership and everyone in the Play Sports Coalition. Um, you know, I, my fondest memories growing up, man, are, are playing new sports. I got the chance to play basketball before I realized I was too short to play ball, play soccer, baseball, man, everything. Um, and uh, find my fondest memories with my father. So built, built some of my best friends that I still have today. And it taught me incredible lessons, responsibility, hard work. And I, I, I benefit from those lessons each and every day. This is not like, this isn't ancillary stuff. This isn't like a luxury. This is how we prepare the next generation. I believe that down to my, um, down to my heart and soul. And then it, it's also important to note that youth sports organizations are pillars of the community. Pillars. And that's so incredibly true in my congressional district. Um, you know, where that's where people convene. That's where they're there for each other when times aren't necessarily going well. That's what the families are looking forward to. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting. I, uh, I just became a father recently and um, you start to find out all the truths, you know, that, that those little sippy cups that the parents are drinking at the youth sports games you know, don't always have a, it's not always coffee in those things. I never knew that growing up, man. But, uh, you know, the, the numbers are stark. Over 40% of youth sports organizations um, could potentially not survive this. 38% say they have three months of runway. Um, the industry as a whole has suffered $8.5 million in losses. Um, we got to save Little League, soccer, youth sports as we know it. Um, and in order to do that, we got to provide much needed relief to the families. It, it's not like, you know, you don't take your, the, the, these organizations have, don't take their dues and then put them in a little cash box. You know, fixed costs. That's that, that, and then you can't just give it back. So we've, um, we've put forth the COVID-19 Youth Sports and Working Families Act to ensure that parents get a much needed tax credit on what they spend on youth sports registration, potentially helping them save hundreds of dollars and also potentially allowing them to forego asking for that money back for a little league season that is not happening. Um, also make sure that parents can deduct what they spend on their kids' team as, as health expenses, um, if that makes more sense for their pocketbook. And ultimately, this, my bill also authorizes a new relief fund for youth sports providers who are in danger of going under due to this crisis. Um, this to me is more than an economic crisis. This is a cultural crisis. This is about this, is about this country. You think about America, you think about Little League, right? Think about America, you think about youth sports. And we, we can't just let this happen right in front of us and not do anything. But I need you all now, because we got the bill. It's gone through all the, the, the crap, the alleged council, it's been approved, the co-sponsors, blah, blah, blah. I'll call people, I'll maybe get through, I might not. But you will get through. I know, I know whose calls I answer and whose calls I don't. Little League president calls, I don't care who I'm on the phone with, I pick that thing up. Because no member of Congress wants the youth sports president or the youth sports coach shit talking to them. Nobody. Democrat, Republican, independent, I don't care. You all have an exorbitant amount of power. 
And now what I am asking for you to do, not on behalf of my congressional office, but on behalf of the millions of youth sports families, the thousands of youth sports organizations across the country, so many of, of whom you all represent and fight for, I am asking that you advocate for this bill to your respective members of Congress. This is a drop in the bucket, but it's the right thing to do, and it is going to protect a pillar of this country for, the, for so many years to come. So again, thank you for, for all that you do. Um, I look forward to continuing this fight virtually alongside you, and uh, good luck with the Sippy Cups. Thanks again, all right? Thanks, Thank man. you so much, Congressman, oh, for your leadership you. in this effort. My and pleasure. congratulations on the new addition to your family. Yeah, yeah. The, the, kid, the kid's going to be taller than me. I don't know, man. I don't know. Basketball, <laughs> man. Basketball in his future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'll see you guys later. Good Thank luck. You Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.